Hello, hello. How are you? Good, good. All good. It's uh, it's 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 lovely to meet you. Is it? It's it's morning there, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, yeah, good, good morning. morning. Good morning to you. <laughs> I'm a very very early morning person. That's why I mean I said that's Let's awesome. have a meeting in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, thank you so much for sitting down with us. We've uh, we've been an admirer of you since the first film we saw of yours, which was actually Jolly Taku. Uh, which, I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your names. I mispronounce everything we've seen from India, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize. Um, but it, they, we we were uh, immediately a fan after we saw that that film, and we are ecstatic that it is uh, India's official submission for the Oscars. Uh, this you. year, because yeah. we uh, we want everyone to be able to um, one see that film and also just realize the talent that's coming out of India. So I just want to ask you, how does it how does it feel to be the official entry uh, for for India this year? I'm uh, I'm really thankful to God that this is happening, and um, I would say this is. Uh, uh, I'm I'm really glad that this is happening uh, for the team. Uh, it is it is mostly because uh, you know uh, I have realized uh, in the recent times that it is not just the director making the film. Mm-hmm. It is uh, the entire entire team, especially a film like this, uh, which is like uh, an effort of uh, a thousand odd people uh, mm-hmm. running, <laughs> as you have seen, running behind the bull. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, behind, in front, inside, <laughs> in, in, on top. Uh, so uh, to make that happen, uh, it was like a huge uh, effort from uh, the team behind. Yeah. So I'm really glad uh, for everyone who worked behind, from the producer uh, Thomas Paniker to, uh, you know, there uh, there was uh, this art assistant uh, Sanoj, who always got into the the shell of the the dummy bull. Whenever I had to take a retake, that's uh, awesome. So it is like it it weighed uh, around more than 80 kgs. So you know how uh, uh, how difficult it was each time because when uh, so he had to like uh, almost bend down and uh, get inside, uh, get on a like uh, catch on a handle inside, and uh, he can hardly see because when uh, we couldn't uh, make holes uh, in, oh, in in the. No. In the Place of ice. Instead of that, we had cameras. Uh, so he had to catch a uh, <laughs> CC uh, monitor and <laughs> had to like move. <laughs> was it? So, was it? Wow. Was it on like a motorcycle or was the, it? What was it? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it was just his uh, legs functioning as motorcycle. I would say. <laughs> wow. So, anyways, these these are all backstories uh, behind it. But I'm yeah. happy that. Mr. This is happening. Yeah. Yeah. Which we say all the time on the channel that that film is is you know people who haven't been around film don't appreciate what a collaborative effort a motion picture is, and and oftentimes the name actor or the name director are the ones who get primary credit and a director should obviously because it's the director's vision. But none of that comes to pass unless you have a team like that, and those are the unsung heroes, the ones that we never get to see. Yeah. 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 So so. So, uh, like I like I explained, it is like uh, so every department, you no, know, like uh, worked hand in hand for the film to happen. Like uh, each department had uh, their own role to do. So I'm I'm really glad uh, for all of them actually because yeah. uh, like uh, I always um, like whenever they ask me uh, what what is my first reaction, I said uh, I'm really happy for all the people who ran behind the bull. Yeah. So uh, it's more of it, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also representative, not just obviously of the fact that it's all of India, but the very specific industry where you do something that's in Malayalam, that's got to have a level of, of pride. And I bet you've gotten a lot of positive feedback about that as well. Yes. Uh, it it is, uh, I would say. And uh, see, I'm really glad that when uh, the the film is from one end of the uh, country. So uh, as you know, when uh, you're you're quite familiar with India, I know. Uh, so it is like uh, each state uh, speaks a different language. Each yeah. uh, state has a different uh, food culture. 
Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So it is like every single thing different about each state of uh, India. So our state is like uh, is one one end of the uh, the country, and uh, uh, I'm really glad that when the so uh, it is it is kind of an exposure for uh, the outside world also that I mean uh, cinema uh, is like. Uh, like any other aspect of india cinema is also like so diverse yeah. uh, in india yes. and uh, we have uh, this n number of languages in which we all make cinemas and uh, watch cinemas so yeah. that's yes. a great news what's been the um reception um outside of obviously we know in india it's been fantastic internationally that you've got from besides uh, us two uh have you gotten a, a positive reception from um obviously outside of the official submission itself from uh, what's what's been people's reception to your film that are from like america or different different countries like that to this film see uh, apart from uh, apart from india uh, we had uh, taken it to a few festivals mm-hmm. like say uh, toronto or uh, busan uh, or a few festivals like that uh what i have realized is uh, it is like it was all uh, every single place it was uh, very well received yeah uh, considering uh, the the kind of uh, uh, topic or uh, uh, the the idea was uh, more global i feel it is yeah, yes. it is like a uh, it's it's not a, a native uh, a story of a native place yeah it's a human story for sure it's a human story so yes uh, a person from anywhere uh, in the world uh, did connect to the the yeah. film and uh, i would say that men uh, say definitely the uh, this kind of uh, um what do you say acceptance will happen only after it being nominated uh, from uh, india as a as a film uh, otherwise men it was just uh, like a malayalam film uh, yeah. which is running apart from the festival uh, attention it it had got yeah yeah well it excites us for exactly what you said because it does not just represent india or a specific industry within india the film is universal if I, i'm confident that if if academy members watch this film they're going to see that and they're going to appreciate it and i i i know you uh, you prefer to let the film speak for themselves and to not tell people what the film is supposed to be about yeah. um but if if i if i may ask is it safe to say and you can refuse to answer this that obviously one of the driving universal stories that's in this is is the idea of herd mentality the idea of people uh being caught up in a frenzy of just instinctive response not using their minds is that obvious to you <laughs> uh no it it is obvious from uh, any single visual of jellicut uh, yeah. <laughs> i would say it is yeah. uh, for, for me uh, it is more uh, of uh, i had written a recent uh, um like a small write up which i had to write so it was uh, i i i just uh, feel that when jellicato is everything that the world should not be yeah so uh, <clears throat> uh, so uh, it is like i mean i connect the the film more uh, to revelations of bible now or uh, mm. the apocalypse uh, yes uh, in the bible now because see it is uh, it is uh, not because of any reason because I mean the times are uh, moving into such a uh, uh, space i feel according to i mean whatever is happening around uh, the the kind of pandemic and the kind of issues happening around the the globe yeah mm-hmm. so uh, it is uh, i would say that I mean it is time for uh, every single person on earth to go back from darkness to light so i would uh, mm-hmm. say jellica to us uh, is more of hinting that uh so and uh, as you said when i don't want to explain the whole film and <laughs> make yeah. you make people watch it because this is my reading and i don't want to like feed it to a- any audience yes. uh, audience who watch the film yeah uh, yeah 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 i i fully appreciate that um yeah. part of your your filmmaking i i it it always frustrates me when when filmmakers spoon feed people uh and, and as opposed and tell them what the the film is about so i really appreciate it. and there's so much about this film that we absolutely adored um from everything from the the, the sound design of the entire oh. the way you used sounds in this 
and obviously the cinematography was just almost mind blowing. That that who, who I, I forget who your cinematographer is. I do apologize. Irish. Yes, um, he he deserves an Oscar himself for for what he did with this film. Um, there were so many night shots basically in this film. Can you explain? Um, how difficult that was to make it look as beautiful as you made it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so tell us I mean, your process, the basically. Person, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the only, only person to credit uh, the whole look of the film is definitely the cinematographer. Uh, and uh, like you said, Minda, so let me just uh, put it in a uh, put it uh, in a easier context, like say sound design, uh, music. Uh, cinematography, editing, all this uh, we had decided uh, rather than we discussed and uh, decided on a pattern where it start from silence. Like the, the graph uh, yeah. is like from silence mm -hmm. to uh, to the, the peak of chaos and uh, uh, pyramid yeah. and drop, drop back to silence again. So uh, it is like you can see that graph in all the process uh, of the film like say cinematography has the same kind of imagery like uh, say you you start with people uh, just waking up from sleep silently like mm -hmm. like mild of breaths and uh, you uh, wake up uh, into a very silent morning early morning and it's the sounds slowly start piling up from there to to what you see in the end Yep. So if the music is has also uh, uh, also has the same kind of uh, a structural uh, pattern uh, in the film. Like say we we have mostly used uh, the uh, human voices and uh, mm. thumping and stomping. I mean, uh, mostly nothing uh, from the instrumentals or digital sounds. It's it's mostly human and uh, uh, yeah. more. Uh, manual I yeah say. so basically I mean uh, the structure is from a dot to a peak yeah where you see the the pyramid in the end so it's it's basically that one of our favorite sounds was actually at the very end with the pyramid and when people were piling on it was basically i don't know what you used for foley or what it sounded like you had slabs of meat like on top of each other and it was absolutely <laughs> brilliant <laughs> so uh, it like when uh, I would say I mean it is uh, Rangana Dravi uh, who's a sound designer and mm -hmm. uh, for mixing uh, it was Kannan Ganpat. So they both uh, uh, like just get me all the sounds in the world and mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean keep it in such a way that when I mean I I, I don't have to do anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, the accolades we, we that's we couldn't say enough about how much we appreciated the Oscar level work of the visuals, cinematography, of the production design, of yeah. the sound. And even, you know, Corbin had just mentioned so much of the film takes place at night. And again, people who yeah. don't involve themselves with film don't appreciate how difficult it is to make a beautiful night shot. Yeah. Uh, can, how, tell okay. us a little bit about that process. Okay, sorry. I mean, I, I, no, I have please. this habit of just uh, taking diversions. Oh, go, go. No, like, no, no, no. How, how was it in my film? Like, I, I take yeah. twists and turns. <laughs> oh. So, <laughs> let me explain that. So, uh, um, it was like uh, a huge team. So, um, things don't uh, happen as easy as uh, you think. I mean, how it happens in Hollywood or uh, any mm -hmm. other uh, bigger industry. Because uh, it's more of a manual job uh, when it comes to uh, a small industry like uh, Malayalam industry. Yeah. So uh, let me uh, just explain how uh, we get a uh, entire space lit in the night. Oh, please. So that is that is that is one uh, example I, which I can take. Uh, apart from the the climax scene where we have used the balloon lights. Mm -hmm. uh, Apart from that, a uh, lot of sequences uh, we have uh, used this, uh, um, uh, we mimicked the balloon lights with smaller, like umbrella, like, uh, you know, this Chinese lanterns, mm -hmm. yes. Chinese lantern, 
uh, like smaller forms of uh, what the uh, actual balloon lights would be okay uh, so what uh, our team does is like our team as in the the lighting unit uh, the lighting unit uh, does is uh, they uh, they fill sand in a uh, a small a half liter bottle of uh, pepsi or something and they tie it up so they uh, throw it uh, to to the top of uh, a tree so and when it comes down they will pull it uh, pull the uh, light up and they have to literally climb up the uh, tree each time to fix it fix the light so <laughs> i'm not talking about just one or two small uh, pieces i'm talking about 50 or 60 light pieces where right. uh, we will get a entire place lit with the same impact like a moonlit effect basically yeah. so this is a tedious process and uh, that is why i'm saying that I mean it is for me it is uh, all about reimagining what is written uh, in the uh, script yeah. so it is more of uh, people really doing their job in this way so i'm uh, so this is one uh, example which i took so uh, like this each uh, place and each uh, point we have to uh, light uh, in a very uh, Uh, it was not that easy uh, like it see but when the only thing i am happy about it is uh, that uh, we were all like uh, happy doing the entire job and mm-hmm. uh, and i would say that this was the the most uh, fun film we all had uh, it was not uh, screaming and uh, <laughs> a loud film like you think behind it it yeah. was like a super fun uh, film we had it behind the the whole yeah camp. that's yeah. wonderful the wow so you i i know you've worked with your dp uh, quite often is that do you think the most important relationship for a director with his dp uh i would say it is not just dp i work uh, uh, closely with all the technicians yeah uh, just for the reason that um, uh as i said i mean uh, director is someone who reads uh, the script and reimagine the uh, the script for uh, screen yeah mm-hmm. so uh, the reimagining part is what i i do uh, mm-hmm. so and uh, uh, all i do is to explain each technician what i uh, reimagined and um, so once uh, they get it right uh, as a as an idea i mean they all work from um, their own perspective their own ideas so it is like when i would say that it is not just uh, a cinematographer i would say but why cinematographer becomes the most uh, is there a sound recurring uh no you're I'm, I'm okay. you, you're you're a little muffled but no i can i i can hear you just fine you can hear okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, so it is like um, i would say why cinematographer becomes the most important uh, uh, a person uh, in a set uh, is just because uh, uh, it's it's more of a visual uh, medium where we are uh, we are yeah. all working uh, so i have an idea i i narrate the idea in all the explanatory with all the explanatory skills i have so but uh, the cinematographer literally have to work uh, as my eyes like yeah. so it it happened uh, right. i would love uh, when it happens uh, i mean when someone works like that and not only um, cinematographer the art director uh, the so each each person uh, like did uh, function like uh, uh, they they literally joined uh, the kind of uh, vision uh, we we all had that's yeah. yeah yeah and i noticed you the, the editor deepu joseph that you that you've worked with deepu joseph on many films is like a part of your team can you tell us a little bit about the editing process is it the same with each film or does it was it different for this film um as far as uh, this uh, jellikattu is concerned uh, i would say uh, the editing was um, um i would say one of the most important uh, um spaces to deal with or uh, difficult spaces to handle with just for the reason that we had a animatronic bull mm-hmm. uh, and we had a 
and i didn't want to use too much of vfx uh, uh, on screen uh, so combining all this and to make it look more real uh, on screen so uh, so an editor had to really pick the shots right uh, like guide me where where all we need uh, a vfx uh, addition so uh, i would say that i mean <laughs> uh dibu joseph uh, i mean deserves a, a big applause uh, absolutely so, <laughs> yeah. absolutely yeah. uh what's the do you know the cuz once again on the on the oscars yeah. what is the um next steps now for for you as the official submission cuz we know obviously with the oscars there's a lot of campaigning but obviously this year during a pandemic do you know do you know what the whole process is now for 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 you see um i um i had spoken to uh, our producers uh, thomas panikar and uh, now shad uh, who's an executive uh, producer so uh, they have taken it in the right very right spirit and uh, they have uh, formed a team uh, which is like really really strong Mm-hmm. uh say uh, gunit gunit moga who's already experienced uh in uh say i would say winning an oscar uh, for india like last year uh, documentary award. yeah 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 and uh, mm-hmm. yes apart from that uh, somebody like xyc uh films coming on board to support us uh like um, so these are all great things happening uh, in the campaign front at the same time um, they they are moving in the right direction and uh, uh, attaching the right kind of people with the with the campaign so uh, like you said uh, the the campaign this year is not uh, like the um, live campaign yeah, it is more right. of a online campaign so <laughs> which uh, actually works uh, for our advantage i would say yeah uh, so in a good way yeah uh, and uh, end of the day i would say that when uh, it it should not be um uh the campaign uh, what wins uh, uh an award or oh, appreciation oh no never yeah it, it, correct it should, uh, of course it should be it should definitely be uh, uh the merit uh, of the of the film this film or any film for that matter yeah 100% yeah. agree and that's one and, of the things yeah. oh, go ahead please and what no no that's it so oh, okay. and so <laughs> i uh, i so i uh, i'm very uh, what do you say uh, i i stay a little away from a lot of uh, sound and uh, uh, promotions normally yeah. so i i prefer that so and they are allowing me to do that and whenever it is required my uh, comment or uh, uh, or an interview like this which to to reach people so i am yes. doing that yeah yeah and i think that's the case with most artists they don't really feel the desire to be in the promotion side of things they just want to be in the creative side of things um but Absolutely. yeah that what we want to see happen and anything we can do which is one of the reasons we wanted to talk to you uh and we live in Los Angeles uh we know people in the industry and anybody that we can communicate with we want academy members to see this film because i i believe that if academy members see this film they're going to see the merits that everyone else who's seen it is is going to and right now i would say the best thing that we or anybody could do is just continue to talk about it and post about it and make noise about it online and let it have a you know notoriety with algorithms and things of that nature yes is that the best thing people can do to just promote the film yeah yeah uh what uh, i mean like uh, can you can you repeat the last last block of it yeah the best thing uh, that all of us could do to promote the film is to post about it, tweet about it, talk about it, share it with people, tell them to watch it. Yes. Yeah. Uh yeah, of course when I mean, unfortunately I am I'm away from all the social media yeah. activity in some oh, time. Oh, I know. <laughs> But uh I mean I will not for you. <laughs> uh, I will not say anyone uh not to do it. Yeah. So I I would be happy that if you like the film and if you share or uh Uh, if you comment on it i will be more than happy uh, to see and listen to it so yeah, yeah so you seem like a very sweet genuine kind person what draws you to chaos <laughs> so much uh in your films <laughs> so uh, i would say that when uh, i uh 
see the last one year one year uh, definitely has changed me uh, a lot mm-hmm. so i would say that when uh, i have definitely uh, shifted from what uh, uh, the, the master of chaos uh, mm. chaos uh, <laughs> uh, title which i had to uh, i would stay uh, i would like to uh, be the master of silence so mm. <laughs> so mm. anyways so but uh, see what all i'm saying is that um, the best uh, uh, best uh, definition i would give uh, why why in my films there is a lot of chaos uh, will be uh, see that is uh, what the world uh, is mostly most of the yeah. times uh, when i when i look at it from a perspective of an artist yeah and uh, why i featured it in my films uh, is just for the reason that uh, i want to take away that chaos from mm. uh, from the world and uh, keep it mm. a peaceful place so that's yeah. what i would uh, i would uh, love to <laughs> say mm. yeah yeah that makes sense another thing we've noticed about you which was what one of the many things that impressed us about you as a director is there are some directors and i've used ron howard as an example here in american cinema who don't mind s- uh being kind of behind the camera so you don't it doesn't necessarily feel like a Ron Howard film whereas if you see a Quentin Tarantino film you know you're watching a Tarantino film your yeah. films have a very definitive DNA that is yours we notice that immediately like the people we know you admired like a Francis Ford Coppola or an Inuritu um is that something that you always wanted to have and it's intentional or is it just a byproduct of your creativity uh these are all like uh, very huge compliments i would say <laughs> I mean, and i'm happy <laughs> that you're giving it to me uh, but let me say very uh, sincere uh, these are uh, these are not um, uh, planned uh, or uh, signature things what i try to do in each film it is like i uh, all i'm uh, i i normally uh, try to do is to make a different film from what i did uh, as a earlier one yeah so yeah so in that process i mean it definitely becomes a uh, uh, slightly different and uh, it will give a uh, say for example um, see these kind of crowded shots or a long uh, long take i mean uh, if you uh, say that I mean that is that is kind of uh, my um, signature i'm happy that uh, to uh, agree just for the reason that it is like um, uh, i have liked uh those those kind of shots those kind of sequences which someone else uh has really taken that effort and uh, did in a different film say like when I, mean, i always uh, have loved uh something like ran of uh, kurosawa or uh, uh z of uh, costa gavras so uh, I, i for me as a director uh, these have uh, these sequences have excited me uh because when uh, I really uh, would have liked to know I mean how uh, how uh, how how uh, they how did they do the entire sequence mm-hmm. so uh, such small small things attached together I mean uh, becomes my uh, my way of doing a new film I guess so mm-hmm. and uh, it has all come from different places different directors different ideas and uh, tomorrow if, uh, if someone uh, makes a film uh, like what i have done i will be super happy that when yeah. someone is <laughs> taking it from me when yeah. that what uh, it should happen yeah and yeah. and 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 on your love for for tracking shots and you are a master at tracking shots when when we obviously jolly taco you had a bunch i think the 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 fight scene with the two the two gentlemen in the river uh that that tracking shot and then obviously um i apologize for mispronouncing this title of this film but agamali diaries right <laughs> um I can't pronounce anything like I said but obviously that 11 or 12 minute tracking shot um that's uh, almost your signature now and and you're absolutely brilliant at it would you ever go as far as birdman essentially uh, a film where it almost looks like it's entirely one shot go the entire next level uh, like I said uh, earlier it is not um, the shot uh, what is designed uh uh is decided before it is like the film first and then 
if the film demands a shot like that, why not? Right. Of a course. film with right. all yeah. just one shot. Yeah. No, if if the, if the <laughs> film, uh, I mean, film, uh, uh, the script demands a shot like that. I mean, I should not cut anywhere. So then yeah. I, I will go like that. Absolutely. Otherwise, I mean, yeah. why would I take that deep <laughs> effort to take a shot like that? Of course. That? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which is yeah. a beautiful thing that we noticed about you. We we have felt that you. Your decisions as a filmmaker always are in alignment with the story. We don't think you'd ever make a decision about something just for the sake of it or to do something neat. It's always about story for you. Uh, and how much of that do you storyboard and it stays that way when you're filming? And how much of it is just inspiration and you're there and you realize either we can't do that shot, the sun's going down, or, oh, I just have, how much of it is just on the fly as you're filming? It's, uh, I would say that it is mostly impulsive. Uh, I mean, most yeah. of most of the films what we do, because uh, the storyboard or a previous such things uh, normally uh, don't happen. Uh, so, if, uh, uh, almost all the all the films uh, are results of the kind of impulses and uh, uh, like that momentary decisions we 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 all took uh, on set. Um, but uh, as I said, I mean, it, it is like the coordination happens uh, on all sides. And um, uh, I'm uh, just someone who designs uh, a shot. Uh, and uh, it is like physically being there, taking it in the right uh, way, channeling it in the right sense, like all these people are involved. Uh, so as I said, I mean, it is a lot uh, for me to design it, uh, is, uh, I would consider an easier job than physically doing it. Mm -hmm. So so it's a combination of uh, all this. Yeah. So. What, what's your relationship with, because we know you've been in quite a few of your own films and, and other films as acting, but you hate acting. Um, yeah. But you've also worked with the great, like greats, like Fahat Fasil. But then you also make films where you have like 80 something actors who acted for the first time is that something you 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 enjoy uh, you enjoy finding new actors or, is it, or what, what's your whole process with actors see um according to me I mean, like every single person is an actor uh, so you just have to tweak them or uh, make them uh, realize when what they have to do and uh, yeah i would uh, not try to make it a difficult job for anyone i would that is what i i, I normally uh, does so uh, when uh, the person in front of the the cam when he start feeling that mean uh, what he uh, what he's doing uh, is something really difficult mm -hmm. so then it becomes very 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 uh, difficult so otherwise i think when every single person can easily perform in front of camera mm -hmm. so you just just have to pad and easily make them do it in the right uh, way. That's all. Yeah. So I I enjoy both. Uh, I would say uh, it is not just uh, the new uh, actors in front of camera. I enjoy working with actors also. Yeah. But uh, what matters is, I mean, uh, that face uh, literally uh, needs to be uh, like clean uh, on the script or the the character. So it is more of the the character, the look of the character. Uh, decides a person so it could be a, a, a mm. popular actor it could be uh, a, a new uh, new actor who, who wants to get into uh, acting or someone who just uh, is walking on the street I mean so it could be anyone who has a, a similarity to the kind of character what is written uh, in the script I would say mm. so yeah it, it works always yeah that that was I know Satyajit Rai chose a lot of his roles that way. It was that person is, they look like that character. And that's who I'm going to have for that character. Uh, you, your father was a respected actor, so you grew up around theater and film. Uh, when did you want to be a director? What made you want to go into directing? Uh, I don't know. The uh, It was like always... Uh, uh, I mean, I, I, um, I, no, that's what, no, I'm, I'm seriously thinking when, when, when did I really start sure. thinking about directing uh, a film? Very but, young, but, I assume. But, uh, <laughs> it was never, it was never acting, I would say. Maybe it was, um, um, 
the moment when um, what uh, my uh, my mother's father used to be a uh, ardent uh, film lover so he used to do all the small experiments in which uh, we fill uh, water in a bulb and uh, like light a torch and project it on a uh, wall kind of a thing so uh, the, the liking for cinema was always there and uh, i don't know maybe it was like uh, seeing it from behind uh, uh, the uh, rehearsal cams of the theater uh, like mm-hmm. where i used to go or my father's theater uh, rehearsal cams so such places also used to be like really uh, an inspirational uh, reason why i mean i mean why i i got into directing i would say but it was all about uh, but mostly it was like just uh, i i love stories i love listening to stories i love telling stories and uh, the best way to communicate it to a thousand million people is to like bring it on screen so yeah. i think that was what that was the main thing yeah yeah absolutely um so we've seen quite a few films from malayalam um industry and it's one of our absolute favorite industries even though we've seen films from almost every industry in india and seen fantastic great films from each region um but malayalam sticks out because almost every single one of them is top notch in almost everything acting directing cinematography everything but i want to ask you what's one thing you would like to change in the malayalam industry if anything uh no i don't want to change anything I mean, see uh, the the place uh, or the cinema or the people every everything uh, needs to evolve uh, by itself i feel yeah. and uh, as far as uh, uh, the the cinema what is happening in uh, the industry are really inspiring and there are really, I mean, it's like a lot of people coming out with great ideas, and the cinema has become more global yeah. uh, in their narrative uh, nowadays. So it's not just Malayalam, I would say. It is uh, like most other places. Cinema uh, have moved out of that uh, regional uh, box. Yeah. So it is more global. So the stories are uh, more global, and people just connect to all the stories. So that is more important, I feel. Absolutely. And it is happening. Sure. Yeah. And one of the things we're really passionate about and we were thankful that the Academy recognized Parasite as the best film because it's the opening of that mindset that there's international cinema, it's not just Hollywood. Um uh, is that something that you really you just mentioned it. I assume you really would love to see more people whether it's Americans paying attention to Indian cinema, Spanish cinema, French cinema and vice versa that Indians are paying attention to other regions that international community I think is very important to you yes so um all i'm saying is that when uh, all you have to do is to uh, make a film or tell a story in in a way which you think is right and which you think uh, is the right time to tell a story or uh, to bring it on on screen and just uh, leave it as it is i mean mm. so if that story needs to be uh, uh like when seen by people the film needs to be seen by people maybe it will uh, be uh, seen by people so uh, all i'm saying is that when uh, we don't have to push it too much uh saying that when okay everyone in the world needs to uh, watch this uh, cinema so if it uh, if it uh, has that kind of a, a quality it will it will slowly reach people so mm-hmm. uh, i would take uh, like to take it like that so mm-hmm. that, so and just make your uh, uh, narrative honest as possible yeah so that will reach yeah. people yeah. yes and yes. we we saw your your trailer for your it was supposed to come out this year i believe it was chu chu rule <laughs> i apologize yeah, yes yeah. thank you uh, uh do you have any uh, updates on that wait, wait, if do we know when it's coming out yet at all or see surely uh for me i see I, i would say that the last three films uh starting from uh, in mayo uh then uh, uh, jellikattu and now uh, surely 
so this um, it 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 slowly shaped into uh, i would say a uh, uh, unexpected uh, uh, trilogical format and uh, uh, truly uh, definitely would close the uh, the kind of uh, trilogy uh, it was uh, so uh, i'm almost done with the the film it's almost mm-hmm. through so um, right so let's see even what is what is in store i don't want to <laughs> talk more about the film <laughs> i did uh, one sure. one thing i didn't know if it was that film or a future film but we did i did read an article that said for a future film of yours you're considering virtual reality uh, uh i would say yes uh, because when i I say that it, it's. Uh, I don't know when it'll happen, but I mean, definitely that is an. Uh, I, I consider uh, uh, that as an idea. Yeah. Uh, it's just for the reason that uh, uh, I uh, I feel that I mean uh, that is one uh, medium, which uh, which needs to be explored. Yeah. Uh, Agree. Uh, and uh, for a storyteller uh, to uh, to narrate a story in 360 degree is always exciting. Interesting. And. Uh, Uh, I would say that when uh, uh, I was not so familiar with uh, uh, the medium, I recently got introduced, like say, a uh, six to seven months back. So uh, now uh, I am uh, definitely thinking of uh, doing something uh, in VR. But uh, before that, definitely after uh, Churili's work, I am taking a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For good. Sure. Sure. Well, <laughs> as a point of en- as a point of encouragement, it, if there's anybody that we think would be able to do that well, absolutely. Uh, in 360, I think about Jalikatu in that format where you'd be literally in the night and all around are the sounds and the sights. That would be an unbelievable experience. I want to jump on the uh, pile. So, <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, But one last question as well. I wanted to know about uh, Jolly yeah. Katsu. The screen, the screenplay is. Uh, forgive me for mispronouncing their names. It was R. Jaya Kumar and and uh, S. Harish. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, was that a, a screenplay they presented to you? Did you have the concept and then they wrote it? How did that happen? The, the actual idea for the film. No. S. Harish uh, is a very popular uh, writer, uh, a short story writer. He had recently uh, written a. a uh, novel in the by the name misha which called the mustache so uh, it won uh, the biggest prize for uh, literature in india the jcp award jcb award mm-hmm. so um, uh, this was a story written uh, by sarish uh, which was titled uh, maoist um, but uh, uh, that was more of a satire uh, a, a social satire uh, in its content and uh, when we um sat to create a screenplay for the uh story like the adapted screenplay so it turned into a uh, more of a thriller uh, because when um we figured that uh, the uh, the thriller aspect of the story uh, is more uh interesting when it when it comes to a uh, film i mean even i i thought when uh, it, it Uh, it needs to be approached from uh, a thriller point of view so that is how uh, it slowly turned into uh, what jellicatu uh, is today mm-hmm. i would say yeah well we are very excited the at the prospect of of it getting selected as an official selection for the oscars so we were are, are very hardly rooting for you and your entire team involved uh and we we look yes. forward to the morning when we get the notification that says it's it's going to be official yeah. selection to the oscars i do want to finish this uh interview off with a little bit of rapid fire just dumb questions uh nothing okay. nothing too difficult here um but first one do you coffee or chai 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 always mm-hmm. uh favorite malayalam dish mean mingari like fish curry i would say yeah. <laughs> gotcha um uh, favorite alcoholic beverage if you drink alcohol you know i used to drink now i don't drink anymore water's delicious uh favorite hollywood <laughs> film um uh 2001 space odyssey dang uh, so i have a lot of see if you ask me i mean i would say i, I would just narrate 100 films but when, <laughs> sure. it's just something which 
which came into my head uh, instantly. So I, gotcha. I'm just saying it. Uh, favorite Indian film, any region? Satya, Satya, I would say. Yes, Satya, we we Great film. We, we love that film. Uh, favorite Hollywood director? Um, Stanley Kubrick again. Yeah. Mm. Uh, f- besides yourself, favorite Indian director, if you can. K. G. George was. Okay. Uh, your favorite book? Uh, the recent uh, one is Bible. The Bible. Mm. Which now books? I'm reading it. <laughs> Which book specifically in the Bible? Revelations. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, favorite Hollywood actor? Uh, Bruce Willis, I would say. Bruce Willis. Interesting. Interesting. And favorite Indian actor? Uh, if you can say. <laughs> I can say. Uh, I would say Tilagan, sir. Tilagan, sir. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with us, sir. We we deeply appreciate your time. We know you don't do a lot of these, so we really appreciate it. Like I said, once again, we are we were very excited when we first heard the news that your film was chosen for the official selection at the Oscars. But we so are excited and rooting for it because we, we want people not only in America, but around the world to not only see your work, but obviously then after they watch your work, go explore the rest of Indian cinema and what it has to offer. So uh, we are we are we're sending all of our love to you and your entire team uh, for 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 the, the next month ahead, I suppose. Rick. Yeah, uh, we we really do. Um, you know, our passion before we ever started this channel, Corbin and I were actors. Yeah. We love I taught theater. This is our blood and to talk to you because we really do see you as not just someone who's a present day visionary in directing, but we're so excited for what the future holds. We consider you to be not just at the forefront of Malayalam or Indian cinema. We consider you to be a preeminent director in global cinema right now. And we are very much excited. We're some of your biggest fans. We're rooting for you. And again, thank you so much for honoring us with your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great day, man. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.